Contrary to popular belief, there is no sign that a marriage is over. There are signs that your marriage is in trouble and should probably be looked into or fixed, but there is no sign that the marriage is over and can't be saved. How can I say this? What if my husband has had multiple affairs? What if my wife has left and she's not coming back? What if she won't even talk to me? But as a therapist, we believe that any marriage can be saved, no matter what's going on or what's happened in the past. A lot of the time, when people look for signs that their marriage is over, they end up feeling more hopeless than ever. This is because while they're looking for signs, they're fearing that their marriage is falling into a pattern that will lead to the end they don't want. For just a couple of minutes, I want you to think that maybe there is hope for your marriage as I walk you through these two things to think about. First and foremost, would you say that your partner is a decent human being? Ask yourself, is my spouse a good person who is currently doing a bad thing, but at the core of who they are, are they a good person? Because if your spouse is a good person, then they deserve to be rescued and your marriage has a shot at making it work out of the thousands of couples that have tried and failed to save their marriages in the past. We see that 99% of people are good people. They really are. They've just lost their way or life has taken them in a place where they didn't want to go and they wish that they weren't there now. But they need help being rescued and coming back to it so that's question one. Question two, what have you tried so far to? Make your marriage work. A lot of people, when they first encounter that resistance with their marriage, when problems start to arise and especially if they continue to happen year after year. So a lot of times people don't really try anything. There's this belief in society that we should just marry the right person and when we marry the right person things so easily fall into place. That's not the reality but since that's what society seems to be teaching us. It seems that when we first run into that resistance, we think we made the wrong decision. We just need to cut our losses, start over in a relationship that's going to be better for us. That's going to be the solution to our problems and unfortunately that isn't what ends up happening. If you do divorce, now you're gonna have problems with the next person because every marriage has problems. No marriage is perfect and that's because marriage is composed of two people who are flawed. There's no perfect marriage, but you can learn how to make your current marriage better. I want to encourage you to try something new. And while you might be thinking, well, we've tried stuff before. We've gone to counselors, therapists, weekend retreats, or whatever it might be, and nothing has worked out. I want to encourage you that many people have gone to counselors or weekend retreats that really just hit surface level issues and never get down to the core issue of what's going on. Really try to make sure that you have tried everything that you can before you decide to give up on the marriage and then finally have you thought about whether or not you want to. Now, I'm not saying you should stay married because you're afraid of divorce. That's not the kind of marriage I want you to have and I'm sure it's not the kind of marriage you want either. But I am asking if you've thought about all the ways divorce will affect you, including how it will affect your finances your relationships with family and friends, and even your feelings. We don't want you to make hasty decisions based on how you feel right now, and you're not thinking about how your current feelings and actions will affect you in 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, or 10 years. Make sure you've thought about all of these things. You may be thinking, well, maybe I don't want the divorce. Maybe it's my husband or wife who wants the divorce. Doesn't that mean the marriage is over? The answer is no. Just because your partner wants a divorce doesn't mean that your marriage is over. And it definitely doesn't mean that you should stop standing up for your marriage. In fact, as a couple therapist, this is what we do best. We love giving encouragement, advice, and tools to the spouses who are standing up for their marriage even when their partner is completely disengaged. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and don't forget to leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next video.